How can we control the speed of a DC motor or brightness of an LED in your electronics or robotic projects the right and efficient way? The answer is pulse width modulation or PWM. When you are working on a robotics or electronic projects, it's very important to understand and use pulse width modulation. When you hear pulse width modulation, it might seem a little bit complicated, but don't worry guys, it's actually very very simple. In this video, I will be explaining everything you need to know about pulse width modulation in robotics in an easy to understand manner. So make sure you watch this video till the end. It might sound complicated, but it's very very easy guys. Let me explain to you. Think of it like turning on and off a light switch very very fast. What will happen? I mean really really fast, turning on and off 100 times in one second. If you do that really fast, you won't see the light turning on and off, but instead you will see the light emit dimmer. That means by adjusting how long it stays on versus off, you control how much power reaches the device or the light and you control the brightness of the light without actually changing the voltage. This is exactly what PWM or pulse width modulation is. It switches the signal on and off very fast, typically thousands of times per second in order to control the power that will be delivered to the output device, usually motors or LEDs. Now, let's say you have an LED that is connected to an Arduino microcontroller and you want to lower the brightness of the LED. In that case, what we'll be doing is, instead of sending a fixed voltage to that pin that is connected to the LED, we will be turning it on and off very fast. This will give us an illusion of LED turning bright or dim depending on the on and off time that we provide in the pulse width modulation signal. The ratio of on and off time is called duty cycle. A 100% duty cycle means always on and the LED will be shining with 100% brightness. 50% duty cycle means 50% of the time it will be on and 50% of the time it will be off. That means the LED will be glowing in 50% brightness. But if the duty cycle is 10%, that means 10% of the time it will be on and the 90% of the time it will be off. The brightness will be very very low. And the good thing about microcontrollers like Arduino is it has dedicated pin for PWM outputs and we can easily program the duty cycle within the programming IDE. Let me share with you something that will be really useful for you in the future. Whether you are designing a simple LED circuit or building a complex motor driver board, your circuit layout matters a lot, especially when you are dealing with high frequency switching like pulse width modulation. And that's where we will need a proper circuit and PCB designer like Altium who is the sponsor of this video. If you watch our videos, you know we use a tool called Altium for most of our robotics projects to draw our circuits and design our own PCBs. It's easy to create our own PCBs using Altium. And if you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you are going to love it. An Altium subscription includes something called Altium 365, which lets you design, share and manufacture your project everything in one place. You can even collaborate on your circuit with friends and share real-time feedback. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the description so you can download and try it for yourself. Just like an LED, PWM also allows us to control the average power delivered to a DC motor and thus controlling its speed. By sending rapid on-off signals to the motor, we control its speed without needing complex hardware. A higher duty cycle means faster motor rotation and lower duty cycling means lower speed. Speaking of which, we have already uploaded a dedicated video on controlling DC motors using pulse width modulated signal. If you haven't seen it yet, the link is in the description down below. Make sure you check it out. But the PWM signals is more than just controlling the speed of the DC motor or brightness of an LED. It is used in various places in electronics and robotics. It is used for sound generation for creating tones and waveforms. It's also used for controlling servo motors in the case of robotic arms. It's also used in power supplies for voltage regulation through efficient switching. It's also even used for communication like IR remotes and even digital audio systems. So guys, if you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. And if you check out our channel, you will find more useful videos related to pulse width modulation. And also, if you want to see more useful videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. 